today we will see regarding one basic urine investigation that you commonly come across in that a particular component in the routine urine analysis if you see there will be three column one is physical examination chemical examination and microscopic examination under the microscopic examination comes the albumin urine albumin so how to interpret this and what it indicates so first it is a semi quantitative test semi quantitative means it won't tell exactly how much the person is excreting approximately it tells one is that second one is this is being done as a routine analysis the urine basic investigation what we want to know in the 24 hour urinary sample the normal protein excretion is 150 mg per deciliter 24 hours in that if you take albumin it's 30 mg per deciliter over 24 hours so in the 24 hour value we know what is the normal albumin is 30 mg per deciliter overall protein is 150 mg per deciliter this is regarding the normal thing so what we are going to find from this particular pelometer here it is mentioned as negative what are the other reports which can be possible it can be trace 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus or 4 plus like that you will get the value so we know this is the this is the normal parameter we are getting the semi quantitative approximate value in that 24 hour urinary protein value is 150 mg per deciliter in that albumin is 30 here we are going to estimate protein urea only approximately and this dipstick test or this is a semi quantitative test uses some kind of mechanism it takes some uh, coloring agent or strips with the color agent at the end as per the reaction the color will changes and approximate value comes and it is sensitive only for or mostly for albumin only so semi quantitatively we are checking the albumin here confuse the here comes the next confusion in the particular sample in the particular sample there will be values whatever the protein value what is the protein in that particular sample and one more thing is what is the approximate protein the patient is excreting over 24 hours there are two things what is the approximate thing the patient is excreting over 24 hours the second one is what we want we know the normal value so we want to know how much the protein the patient is excreting over 24 hours that is what we want to interpret so how to do that so the albumin if it is written as trace that means the patient might be excreting over 24 hours approximately up to 200 to 500 mg per deciliter if it is trace similarly if it is 1 plus up to 500 mg to 1 g the patient might be excreting i'm saying over 24 hours not in that particular sample i hope you are clear because that particular sample the patient is submitting how much protein is in that sample that doesn't matter much over 24 hours how much he is probably excreting that is what we want so if it is 1 plus up to 500 mg per deciliter i am saying semi quantitative almost indicates protein only theoretically it checks only the albumin if it is 2 plus 500 mg up to 1.5 g so up to 1.5 g per day the patient might be excreting various places you might get various value why there is no standard it because it is a semi quantitative so from 500 to 1.5 g the patient might be excreting if it is 3 plus if it is showing 3 plus proteinuria that means the patient might be excreting somewhere between 2 g to 3.5 g plus on an average you can take test 3 g 3 for 3 is easy to remember the last one the maximum value which is 4 plus the patient is excreting 4 plus that means some massive protein urea the patient might be excreting approximately 4 g to 5 g plus so all these are of 24 hour in 24 hour we are estimating this to be this much so it is a semi quantitative this is not a confirmatory test you have to confirm with something else 
if a medicine resident who is seeing this video whenever you find this value whenever you find this value always check patient serum albumin serum albumin will be very very low especially in nephrotic patient you will get to know the patient is excreting a <coughs> huge amount of protein so that is why these values you should be aware in a diabetic patient also this represent the same this might not indicate the albumin the only thing is if you want to know the exact albumin level you have to go for some other investigation which is urine albumin level in the form of urine albumin creatinine ratio urinary acr or 24 hour urinary albumin value that is what you have to get so in this this in the chemical you might get these kind of negative trace 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus or 4 plus i hope now you know how to approximate it so this is for the 24 hour which is the answer we want to know in that particular sample how much it is there that is also a calculation that might not be significant because with this we want to interpret how much the patient is excreting over 24 hours okay this is all about the urine albumin in the protein urine analysis but one more thing before interpreting any test report you should know when it can be falsely positive what is false positive actually patient is not excreting protein but it is coming as plus two plus three plus when it can happen very very common in the ward you have to be knowing that more than these particular values okay what is that whenever there is a highly concentrated urine patient is dehydrated you are sending a highly concentrated urine for the analysis it might be falsely high in the sense falsely it might be showing two plus three plus one is concentrated urine second one is highly alkaline urine sometimes drugs like sulfonylurea penicillamine these kind of drugs can also cause false positive reports 2 plus 3 plus can happen and one more thing is uta fourth is in uta in uta in with some drugs concentrated urine alkaline urine sometimes a contaminated urine with the secretions genital secretion if it is contaminated it might show positive so that is why you should know these details in the background to interpret this this might giving a major clue and suppose if it is negative one is false positive we have seen what we have seen is one is false positive we have seen false positive when it can be positive but patient is not excreting one more thing you have to know is when it can be negative but patient is actually excreting urine when this can happen when the patient is passing a way to diluted urine the patient had a lot of water because that urinary sample container might be this much small the patient might have excreted a very very diluted urine that time it might be falsely low so that is why this is not a the investigation for checking the urine yes it can be used as a screening test what is the confirmatory test 24 hour urinary sample always correlate with the serum albumin so this is all regarding this particular component in the urine analysis which is urinary albumin bye bye you will see in the next video